Hello from the open source design. I'm Zinia, a UX designer on the team, here to demo the usability study toolkit. It will help you to plan and execute the usability studies to test product experiences and then present the research findings to the teams. Let's get started. The instructions page here will give you an overview of the assets in the Figma file. We provide information on how to use the components included in the toolkit to tailor a study to your needs. Adding inputs on each of the pages one by one will guide you through the process and hopefully simplify writing the report. Look for the examples of the assets included on each page. Let's create a study for, for, from the toolkit. First, create a copy of this file and navigate through the pages on the left. Start with usability study plan. On this page, you can define the goal of the study and organize the thoughts around the methodology and recruitment. Make sure you have a prototype or a website for testing or a URL for the participants to access the study if you are using an automation tool. On the right, you can see an example of the message for recruitment email if you're recruiting participants yourself. And we have a brief example of the usability study plan. So those inputs will end up in the usability study report. And this plan just helps you to organize your thoughts. The next stop is the tasks page. We provide the placeholders for five tasks you will ask the participants to perform. But there are five more hidden in the rows on the page. First column is the name of the task. It is largely a reference, uh, so you just need to identify each task. Let's say create an alert would be a short name. It will populate some fields on the other pages, like track the study, for example, create an alert. You can see it here. Objective of the task is a definition of what user should be able to achieve using the interface. Uh, here in the example, you can see objective could be user should be able to, let's say, navigate to the security analytics functionality and find the entry point for creating detector. Scenario is a description of the task that you will share with the participants. You can describe a scenario for each task broadly. For example, you are a DevOps engineer and you want to be notified on this and that type of event. How would you do it using the interface? Or you can do it in a more specific way, depending on your intention. Please see the example on the right. Success criteria in this template should clearly define how you identify the task performed correctly and ended in success. And we also have a column for the assets where you place a URL for the prototype or a website or a specific address in your automation tool. So you can fill out this form to populate the tasks. And then you go to questionnaire. The questionnaire covers all the questions that you might want to ask your participants. It is organized by sections. First one is screener questions. They would help you to disqualify some of the participants uh, based on the criteria that you define. Maybe uh, the task they performed previously or their professional employment or something else. Initial questionnaire is something that you might want to ask users before you start the study. I have example here, which you can follow. So for the usability study in open search, we had some job descriptions that user needs to perform to qualify for the study. If user selects none of the above, we disqualify such a participant as not our target audience. Initial questionnaire, had questions like, did you use open source dashboards before? 
they don't disqualify participants, but we can analyze the results better when we have the answers to those questions. You can also include some tasks that user performed previously, or just ask some open question, ended questions. A questionnaire after each task is intended to measure UX metrics. So we have a link here to understand those metrics better. And the final questionnaire covers the overall experience. Feel free to duplicate some of the sections so you can create more questions or customize them to your needs. When you're ready and you recruited your participants, you can track how the study is going here. First, we have a template for your introductions when you introduce yourself to, you, to the participants. It could be over a Zoom call or in person, please customize the template to your needs. And while users are performing the tasks, you can select the component here. As you can see, the tasks are pre-populated from the tasks page, and you can mark each user whether they succeeded or failed each of the tasks. So we have a component and you can select success or fail or success when prompted for each of the users. Feel free to duplicate columns here. After each task is completed and the whole study is completed, you can calculate the total of success outcomes of the tasks and figure out the effectiveness of those tasks. In this board, you can track the time of task either in automated manner or just by timing your users, then calculate the average time. That would be helpful for your report. When you're done with the study, it's time to write a report and share with the stakeholders. We have a usability study report template. The goal of the research will be populated from the usability study plan, along with methodology and recruitment. Feel free to edit as you see fit. Uh, Task, tasks are just referenced here. They usually are not required for the report, but feel free to include them in the appendix. Uh, you can include the prototype as well for your stakeholders to check it out, and maybe a reference to the questionnaire. For results, we have automatically populated task completion and time on task. Feel free to include calculated metrics on usability or maybe user quotes, and just write down key insights and recommendations. You can customize the report as you see feed by uh, copy pasting some of the sections. Hope it helps. And under the components, we just have the nuts and bolts of this file. That's, that's it from my side. Good luck with the studies and hope you get some great insights.